Hi guys, it's me again. I'm back straight after my fog review. Uh, I'm trying to get as many of these out of the way as I can. I'm, I'm enjoying it. I did like that review and please feel free to post your thoughts and criticisms of the review if possible. I was quite nervous at it, but I think I did pretty good. Uh, but yeah, I'm doing this straight after. I'm doing them all. As many as I can at once. And this next one I'm doing is Terror Train. This is more of an obscure horror film, like not that many people know about it, to my knowledge. I've not seen it in a while. But I think I think it was pretty good. Like I've seen it quite a lot before now. Like I think the last time I saw it was probably about a few months ago. But I can still remember quite a lot of stuff about it. Uh, Jamie Lee Curtis is in it from The Fog again, a great actress. Uh, there's not that many other cast members that are really recognisable, but she does a good job as usual. I mean, she was the Scream Queen back then, as the horror fans called her. She appeared in so many horror movies that that was the nickname she was given. Now, the plot. Graduation night. Four exuberant high school seniors climb aboard a train for an all-night ride of fun and games. Unknown to them, so does a killer. An escaped lunatic, disguised even from the audience, begins to take his unsuspecting victims one by one. The train cannot stop and neither can the killer as we are dragged from one horrifying moment to another until the killer's identity is revealed in a truly shocking climax. Uh, just to get the end of the way, it is actually quite shocking. You see, the thing is, they played a prank on this kid. He was, like, mentally ill and they put a corpse. I don't know if it was, like, I think it was a dummy, but... It looks like they said they stole it from a morgue, I think, which I thought was quite sick. And they put it in the bed and the guy goes up to it and he sees the dead body and he flips. He almost kills himself and he's locked in an asylum. And he's the main suspect for the film. They always bring him up, but like it says, the killer's identity is finally revealed in a truly shot climax. Is it him or not? They make it out that it's him on the case, an escaped lunatic, but is it? I'll say, I will say spoilers in my reviews, but I'm not telling. You'll have to see this one. It's, well, most of it takes place on a train. It's quite slow. There's not that many kills in it, I have to say, for a slash film. The gore's not that good either. That is one, that's one of my major gripes with the film. Like, the kills just weren't satisfactory. A guy gets rammed in a mirror, but it's very quick. Um, you see a guy get, he's about to get his throat slashed, but it cuts away before anything major happens. Uh, it does, it's like, it's good, it's nicely directed and it does have sort of a scary feel to it. I don't think it's as good as like, say, The Fog or other slash films of the, t of the time, like, uh, The Burning, The Prowler, My Bloody Valentine, you know, things like that. It's better than things like Prom Night, though. It's, I would recommend it, it's a, it's a good film. Like, the final chase, like, these films always seem to have a final chase for the last survivor is running from the killer. In this case, I forgot to mention, the killer, like, takes the mask and clothes of whatever his victim's wearing. Like, at first date, it's, uh, I can't remember what he is, it's, like, just some funny guy dressed up as, but then he kills a guy in a, like, reptile suit, and he takes that and walks around in it. Then he kills a guy with, like, a, it was, like, a witch mask or something like that. It's really cool, like, I think the costumes get mixed up, possibly. That, that part, I'd need to see it again. Remember, I will be seeing it again two days for my annual 31 Days of Horror World, so watch the films that are on my list. But, I, I liked, I did like The Killer. And again, I'm not going to say who it is. That is something you have to see for yourself. It's not like Jason or Freddy where you know who it is straight from the get-go. Just see it. So, yeah, good film. I'd give it a, if I had to rank it, maybe a 7 out of 10. I, I think that's fair enough. Not bad. A little classic in its own right. It could have been better. Bye for now.